Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Red Dragon K580 Vada keyboard. We're going to go over all of the RGB controls and settings, as well as how to do a custom setup on this guy. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are continuing our video on the Red Dragon K580 uh, Vada, V-A-T-A, Vada. Um, this new keyboard, I did a uh, recent uh, unboxing and first impressions on it, some basic uh, tutorials on how to take off switches, things like that. And uh, I started getting into um, the controls, our manual here, to go over all of the different um, RGB controls. And I was like, well, there's got to be a driver for it, kind of like the new Red Dragon mouse here. This guy has um, RGB controls that I can go into a program on my computer and control it from there. The Red Dragon keyboard here does not offer that. Other keyboards do from Red Dragon, this one does not. Which is so ridiculous because it does have programmable keys up here and it has media controls, things like that. But I just, oh! It bugs me, these little things that it's just like, it's not doing and I feel like they should be on top of that. Like that should be a, something that's offered that it's like, hey, here's a visual representation you can click through and decide what it looks like. Um, but instead you have to use um, these little button controls, which is so frustrating and ridiculous to me. But we're gonna do a tutorial on how to go through all that. Um, you're gonna learn about it with me at the same time. So. Starting from the top, let's go ahead and uh, dim the lights and give you a better camera angle. All right, so let's go ahead and go through this manual. I'll try to skim over what you do and don't need to look through. This is just warranty. Next page goes through all of our functions. So FN and then which one of these will control your lighting. There's 18 built-in RGB settings for this keyboard. And then you also have the option for three more that you can program yourself that will be attached to the FN tilde switch. So let's start by just going through all of the backlight options. This is the first one right here. This is our gradient. So if you press FN and then insert, it'll do this one here that you're seeing. This is called gradient. Next one, FN insert again, and this will do breathe. So two times on insert, it will go to breathe. FN insert again, we'll go to steady. So it just stays like this. Colors don't change, rotate, nothing. This is it. Next, we have our FN home button. So FN home one, this is water droplets. So wherever you type on this keyboard here, it will create kind of like a droplet effect from the center there. I think that's pretty dang cool. You press home again, goes to step follow, so it leaves a trail of where you have been. Next is diffusion line. So FN, home, for the third time. Goes across the line to where, see that? Okay. Next one is our page up. So FN, page up. This first one is our wave, where it's just a wave going across there. Next is FN, page up again for the second time to do hurricane. This will bring it all into the center, spin it around, and then goes away. Next one, FN, page up for the third time, will go to Digital rain, kind of like a matrix rain, but it's all rainbow colors. Our next one here is FN delete, function delete. One time we'll do an across where it does the rainbow across. You can see multiple colors at a time on here. If you hit FN delete for a second time, that'll take you to marching where it does almost a whole color across the entire keyboard. So it's basically the same thing, it's just more spread out, the colors take up more space. Our next one is going to be if you hit FN delete again, the third FN delete will do whirlpool where it's just a swirl around the center. 
Next, we're going to move on to FN and the end button. This first one is Christmas tree. So FN end one time is Christmas tree. It does kind of a full rainbow and then a little bit of a slight change, slow. Next one is our color dream. So F end end for the second time. It does this color dream where it randomly just plops colors around. Next one is FN end for the third time. That's rolling rainbow, which I believe is top down. So in FN delete, this goes sideways. FN end three times rolling rainbow goes from top to bottom. You can see as the red is coming down there. And our last set of ones are the page down. So these are all within this home set there. So we got our FN page down. Our first one here is called Fairy Pat and Passion. So it's just bouncing back and forth in a uh, pastel style colors. If you hit FN page down for a second time, it gives you a steady passion. This is a rotation of um, reds, pinks, purples, pastel-ish, um, passionate colors. Very romantic, and maybe girls will be into it. I don't know. And our last one here, FN page down again. We'll do expand and shrink and passion. I don't know why it says and passion, but it's just spreading out from this center here, colors. It's an interesting look. So let's go through those all one more time real quick. Gradient, breathing, steady. Then we have water drop, home. Oh, this is our trace or step follow. Next is, third time is diffusion line. Page up, this does our wave. Hurricane comes in the center, spins out. And digital rain. Delete, we got across, rainbow across. Delete again, is marching, so it's a wider rainbow across. And last there for delete is whirlpool, where it just kind of circles around the center. Then we'll move on to end. This is our Christmas tree. This is our color dream. This is our rolling rainbow, top to bottom rainbow. And our last one page down is steady and passion. Or sorry, this is a fairy and passion. Next is a steady passion. And lastly is our steady and passion. Or expand and shrink. Expand and shrink and passion. This, this Chinese translation is killing me, you guys. All right, so we mentioned that you can use this tilde key to program a separate set here for your FN tilde. Um, and so I'm gonna go over that now. There are three settings within that. You got the uh, turning it on, you have the start to record what you want it to be, and then you have the save to lock it in, and then that will save where when you hit the tilde button, it'll go to your personal setup. So for example, if I hit FN tilde, it goes green. I have it all set up as green. And then say, you know what? I actually want to customize it. Hit tilde again for the second time. All these lights here will begin to flash. That shows you're in the edit mode. Now, if you hit the FN arrow right, there's a little rotate button here. It'll actually change the color of your tilde to show you what color you're gonna change it to. So let's switch this over to red. And we're gonna change our WASD for gaming to red. And then um, we can do it again and we can even grab, let's grab a blue. I think a light blue would be nice. Let's see here, that one. And we're gonna make that our space bar. So what I did is I pressed FN and then the arrow over to show which color we're going to. And we're monitoring over here to see what color we're gonna change it to. And then you press that button once, it'll change it to that color. 
So you can see spacebar is blue like the sky. Then we got our WASD is red. Um, and you can change anything else you want. Any of these keys to whatever you want. So if I hit uh, FN and over again, we can go to blue, dark blue. We're gonna just make our P dark blue. Um, we got purple, we're gonna make the G a purple. An eight, two will be off. You can see it's off. Uh, we're back to red, let's go orange. We're gonna do those two. Yellow, we're gonna make these guys. Green again, light blue, dark blue, purple, pink. We already got that eight, let's do a few more. So you can see how it's set up. Now, to save it, you press FN tilde again, and it locks it in, and now it's saved. So if I go to FN home, my uh, insert, that'll change back to our original, the gradient one here. And then if we hit tilde again, brings back my settings that I had there. Can you see that very well? I don't even know. Um, so that's how to program your custom layout. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and change it to what I like. Another feature that you do have is to lock out your Windows key. Um, so if you find that you happen to be bumping that and it pulls up your Windows menu bar too often, you can hit FN Windows key and that will lock your Windows from being able to open and close your Windows search bar. If you hit FN Windows again, it's unlocked. And you'll see over here, you have a little lock icon next to your roller that'll light up when your Windows is locked. Locked, unlocked. Let's go over some of our other options here. So if you hit FN Delete, and this will start to do our uh, rolling scale. Um, you can see I've already kind of messed with it here, but you can hit FN, and then our D for direction, and it'll actually change the direction of your scrolling. So regardless of what it is, it'll basically do the opposite. So let's see if it works on our, like one that's more unique, like the hurricane. So FN, page up twice. And if we say FN direction, does it change anything? No, it does not. But you can change the color by hitting the little FN right arrow. Red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, blue, purple, pink, rainbow. If we go back to delete for our sliding scale, we can go boom, change our direction by hitting D. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. If we do our rotate, it'll change the color that's coming across there. But if these few, I think it's six colors, isn't enough choice for you, you can use a whole array of colors to select from four things like this. If you hit FN and spacebar, it'll give you a RGB color map here, and if you select any one of these colors, you can change that scrolling to be, let's say, that shade. Nice. But what if we want to be this white? Oh, look at that. Let's try again. Let's do, you know, this red is a little too dark. Let's go for that red. There's tons of options you can choose between your colors on there. To control the backlighting on your RGB keyboard, you'll want to press FN and then up or down. Down will dim it and up will brighten it up. And then you can see over here when you reach the max, it flashes. Or the minimum, it flashes again saying, hey, that's it, that's it. And if you think this is moving too slowly, one thing you can do is hit the FN and up to increase your speed. And then it'll start flashing when it's reached its max speed or down to go really slow. 
One other really cool feature, let me uh, bring you a little bit lower here. If you look right here on the edge, on both sides of this keyboard are um, RGB, just a strip here. And that is controllable by pressing the FN. Let's adjust you here. That's controllable by hitting FN and pause. And you can see now we got this orange. Then we got red. We got um, orange, yellow, green, light blue, dark blue, pink, white, or this will now match whatever is going through the RGBs. Kind of cool. You can also use FN scroll lock to adjust the speed of our things here on the side. So if we go to FN pause again to our rainbow, we can change our speed. It'll rotate between really slow to faster, faster, faster. So let's talk about our G keys up here at the top. We have our G1 through 5. Default, they're programmed to match your F1 through 5, G1 to 1, and G5 to 5, obviously. To change them, you'll press record, and these lights over here will start flashing. That means you're recording. You'll select which key you want to record, so we'll say G1, and I want G1 to be Control, Alt, Delete. And then press record again. It is now saved. That is now saved for my control alt delete. Now, if I hit record again, we're gonna start and we're saying G2 is going to be programmed to, I'm gonna say enter. That is going to give me a very quick logout sequence here. Um, and then I can hit uh, record again to save it. It has been saved. G1 and two are showing that they are programmed. And I could even, if we want to get super fancy, we could program in uh, record G3, and we can make it a password maybe. Uh, okay, so let's see how that works. If I press G1, G2 to lock the screen. Press G2 again to go to the pin. Press that, and we're logged in. One, two, three. You can program to be them to be anything you want. You're like, hey, you know what? I want this to be load out whatever, and it has to be a key press. It can't be something with your mouse. It does have to be something from your keyboard specifically. So if you can do it from your keyboard, it can be done, and it does do a sequence for you, which is pretty cool. Pretty dang cool. To clear something like where I have my password saved in my G3 key, if I wanna delete that from there, what I can do is press record, G3, record again, and it's now wiped that save. And that is a fairly comprehensive guide on how to operate the new Red Dragon K580 VATA, V-A-T-A. Um, if you have additional questions, leave them in the comments below, but this is the Red Dragon a580 Vada. Again, let me know if you have questions, what else you'd like to see in a video, and we'll see you guys in the next one.